Hey guys, I'm Sneha from Kerala Agriculture University. I had secured All India 10th rank in Chair of Social Science stream. Now I have been allotted to MSc Agricultural Economics, IRI New Delhi. First of all, I am much much thankful for each and everyone who stood by me throughout my journey. So why I took Social Science stream for Chair of Examination was just because I was much passionate towards Agricultural Economics. And during our All India tour, we had a session at IARI and we got a chance to interact with our seniors of the same stream and that also inspired me a lot to took this decision. It's always better to decide our stream either in the second year or in the beginning of the third year. I decided my subject in the fifth semester and began the serious preparation on the sixth semester onwards. My personal opinion about the strategy that I had followed is, it's always better and more productive when you are along with a team. I studied with my best friend Ajay and that really helped me a lot to get thorough with the concepts and we mutually aid each other to clarify our doubts and stood by each other throughout our journey. I had started my preparation with the economics. The first of all, I had covered agricultural economics by Shubharadi with a timetable given by my senior. This is kind of Bible for economics and it has covered around 90% of our syllabus. So primarily we should be thorough with each and every lines of this textbook. The more you read this book, the more solidified your concepts will be. For microeconomics and macroeconomics, one more book is the written by David. It is a little bit lengthier but that was definitely worthy. And for the production economics portion, economics of farm production and management by B.T. Raju was also the it is a short book and can be covered within few days. And one more theory book is there, An Introduction to Agriculture Social Science by Subhash Chandra. It is a kind of all-inclusive book since it contains economics, extension and statistics. The economics portion, especially macroeconomic portion from this book is much precise and really beneficial to us. For objectives, Objective Agricultural Economics by Nirmal Ravikumar will be sufficient. It is a little bit huge one and carries a fair amount of questions but covering this book will be really worthy to us. Coming to extension, extension as a topic is easy to understand and easy to forget also. So consistent revision is required for this one. And I had started my extension with extension communication and management by GL Brain. This book consists around 80% of our syllabus and we can exclude the last 3-4 to four chapters of it. The next one is Instant Extension Education by Shruti. The contents of this book is given as short and crisp point. So it is easy to retain your concept and easy to revise also. After having an idea with GL Ring, you can skip into this book and it also really helps you to keep consistent touch with major topics and also to solidify your concepts. The third one is Textbook on Agricultural Communication by A.S. Sandhu. Actually, this is a small book, but the language is a little bit difficult to understand. But still, it will be made easy after 2-3 to three times of reading. And the extension portion from the book, Introduction to Social Science, was not much important, I felt. But you guys just read that also. In case of objectives, uh, the prime book that has to be covered is MCQs in Agricultural Extension by Sunil Vizi. There are a lot of out-of-syllabus questions in this book, so you guys should be choosy while doing this one. The other two objectives book that has covered by me was uh, Objective Fundamentals for Professionals in Extension Education by Narendra Paul and also The Question Bank by Punu Swami. I felt these two books are not necessary for us since it covers a lot of out of perks questions and this is all about the extension portion. For statistic portion, you can go for Introduction to Agriculture Social Science by Subhash Chandra and also the statistic portion in Competitive Book of Agriculture by Nebrat Sunda. For us, there will be only one or two questions from this portion. So, uh, these two books will be satisfactory for statistics portion. For general agriculture, you have to follow a competitive book of agriculture by Namdad Sunda. And if you have much time, you can well build your general agriculture part with fundamentals of agriculture by Arun Katya also. And for objective, you can go for objective agriculture by Kantwa. And it will be sufficient for general agriculture. And just two to three months before our exam, some universities will release current affairs data through their publication and that also will be definitely help you. And these are all about the books and publication that I had followed. The next important thing that I want to tell you is 
you should be selective while choosing the mocks it is not about how many mocks you have been attempted it is about the quality of the mocks so you should be selective while choosing the mocks and try to attempt error free mocks so that you can assess your position in the queue and the important thing that i want to tell you is don't be panic by rank in your mocks because it is not your permanent rank and just be sincere to us while attempting the mocks and try to learn something new from every mock and use it as a platform to correct your weaker sides and with the strategy that i had followed just make short and crispy notes while you are studying because this will definitely help you during your final days of exam and give equal importance to both economics and extension and allow the time accordingly so that you won't get bored and just note out the important questions or wrong answers you made during mocks in a separate notebook so that you can revise it easily and the most important thing is make solid concepts while you are studying because these only solid concepts helps you in exam hall the last thing but not the least i want to say is be sincere not only to you but also to the subject you have been studying and be consistent in preparation and follow stable time tables and don't underestimate anyone or the exam and don't help others and grow together and always keep faith in you because you are the only one who can boost you and do your part honestly and make a better version of yourself day by day and don't do anything anything that lose your confidence and just wait patiently for the ultimate result and all the very best for all the 2022 jrf aspirants thank you